Alex, welcome back to my channel. So today is my first story time video and I'm super excited about it. So I have a really interesting story for you. It was not fun for me, but pretty much I left my $3,000 laptop along with my G drive that held all of my videos and all the hard work that I did um, in my entire career as well as recently that I haven't even posted on YouTube on the bus. Let that sink in. So yeah, I left my, my laptop and my G drive on the bus. I cannot tell you the level of panic that kicked in when that happened. And I didn't realize it right away. So I got off the bus, you know, I had my purse and this bag of food that I had, whatever. And um, I went home and I started setting up this area, like how it looks now. I you know, was putting bedding together. I was putting all the stuff on the railing here. And, you know, getting ready. And I'm like, oh, well, before I film, I want to, you know, export some videos off of my camera onto my laptop. So that way, uh, it doesn't get, the memory card doesn't get full. And then I was like, where's my laptop? And I, I knew at that moment, and I'm like, I know I left it on the bus. But I still ran around the entire apartment, you know, through the obstacle course that this is, that is this room. Because I have my lights here, my lighting, my camera stand, this chair that's holding my camera stand, like, shit everywhere, the apartment's always a mess, and you know, I'm running around trying to find, I knew it wasn't there, but I was just like, it has to be, it has to be, I cannot have left my laptop on the bus, I've always had a fear that I would do that, always, always fear that I would do that, but I was like, there's no way I would ever do that, I mean, it's like way too expensive, and it's like kind of big, like how would I, you know, forget that, it's not like I'm leaving my gloves, or whatever, so I ran around, freaking out, yeah, I couldn't find it, so... I'm dialing Port Authority's phone number as I'm walking down to the bus stop, hoping that the bus will swing around. Granted, at that point, 20 minutes had passed, the bus had already swung around and left, so I'd have to wait for it to do another loop. So I'm just going out there, hoping to God that the, the bus that I left the laptop on comes on and I can go grab it and leave and just be like, yes. Um, so I'm calling the Port Authority and I'm like letting them know, like, hey, like, I love, you know, first of all, Let's, let's talk about this. You left your $3,000 laptop on the bus along with your G drive that holds like everything and you have to go through an automated set of messages. Press 1. Press 2. Let me read you at all of our story hours for every single day of the week. You yell, customer service. It continues to tell you the days of the week and it's just like, I'm panicking and I don't care about your hours. I did not call for your hours. Why couldn't I just press a button for that? No. So I got through all that. I finally got to talk to someone who's really nice, really helpful. And they were able to locate my laptop, and the bus driver had it. Thank the Lord. So, someone could have easily stolen it. Someone could have stolen it. I'm, I'm hoping there was, like, a good Samaritan that turned it into the bus driver. I can't tell if the bus driver, excuse me, I cannot tell if the bus driver, like, had the laptop, like, someone had given it to him, or he had found it. But I'm assuming someone had given it to him because... You know, I mean, I guess maybe if he was checking the bus at some point. Um, so, yeah. So, luckily, no one stole it. They had it. So, they said, you know, we have it. We're going to put it in the lost and found. You can go pick it up, but you can't pick it up until tomorrow. And I'm like, ooh, what do you mean I can't pick it up until tomorrow? So, I'm like, I'm panicking. I'm like, not, even though I know that it's safe, I'm still like, what if they lose it between now and then? Or what if someone steals it between now and then? Or like... What if I go in and say that, that that's my laptop and they're like, no, it's not. Or like, we've given it to somebody else already thinking that it was me, but it wasn't. Like, I don't know, all these freaking scenarios go through my head. Like, if I don't have my keys, my phone, my laptop on me, I just get really anxious. Like, I just need to have them. So, uh, she told me that the reason why is because the guy, he went on a different route. So, he wasn't even going to loop back around. He went on a different route. Um, so by the time that he would be finished his shift, it would be 7.30, and you can only get stuff from the Lost and Found up until 7 p.m. So I couldn't get it until the next day. Now, mind you, the next day, luckily I did have all of the work, so I could get it a little bit sooner than I normally would have had I had work, but I was also going to the functional bowel clinic for all of my health issues, which way I was going to be spending the day there. So I'm going to be spending the day trying to fix all my health just thinking about this laptop that I could get at 9 a.m., but it couldn't. So I had to call at 6 a.m., get a, like a, like explain the situation, give them all the details. Then they gave me a number, said, take this number, bring this number in, and then they will give you your laptop. So, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, 
I kind of kept trying to ask questions like of any way I could possibly get it sooner and they're like no so they're like I know you're worried but hey at least we have it I'm like okay so I go home and then I film a bunch of videos um which all of them I'm refilming which really sucks um because I was like oh I guess I'll just film a bunch of videos but like the lighting wasn't good but anyway so you know I just have to pass time so I film videos and then like I watched Netflix which part of me is like oh maybe this happened to force me to just like relax and watch Netflix as opposed to you know running three channels going to my nine to five job and you know trying to sell stuff on Poshmark and like all the other shit that I have to do so I'm like uh no maybe it isn't the worst thing in the world and you know so then I go in go <laughs> go to my um doctor thing the next day and then when I leave I take a lift and the lift takes me to where the Port Authority buses are which it was so hard because there wasn't really like a building that you would like have a front door to enter in you'd have to go where like all the buses are coming in that they're parking and whatnot and they're like this little booth and we're like trying to figure out where to go and um he was like oh you have to come with me so I get out of the car and I'm like we're walking far away I'm like well wait a minute this is my lift like how long is this gonna take he's like oh like five minutes so I went over to the lift guy I'm like hey do you mind chilling here for a little bit? Like, you can keep the meter going. Like, I just have to go to my laptop, but I'll be right, be right back. Because I didn't want to have to wait for another cab to come or another lift to come. And I didn't want to have to try to explain where the hell I was because it was so hard just to find the spot where I was supposed to get my laptop. I was like, whatever. It just will just make my life ten times easier. So, um, I went. I got my laptop. They gave it to me. I hugged it. It was the greatest moment ever. Um, and, yeah. I could never have been so happy in my life. And then when I got in the lift car, I like put it on my lap. I was like not gonna put it on the floor. I like had it on my lap, made sure I was touching it at all times. Because I think the reason why I left it on the bus in the first place was because um, I had two seats to myself. So on this side, I kept my purse and like my food bag, and on the right, I had my laptop bag. And um, normally, I'm just playing on my laptop like right until I leave. But I had an imported one video that I needed to import on it, so I had to wait till I got home. So I was like, okay, whatever. So that on the side, and normally it kind of leans on my leg or something, but this time it was like sitting up against the window, so like it was like not falling over, like it was like not touching me, not falling over, staying in place, and it's a black bag. So you know, I get up, get off the bus, completely forget about it. I'm pretty sure I was wearing headphones, so if someone was trying to scream like, "Hey, girl, you left your laptop on the bus," I would not have them I would have just kept walking if anything I've heard if I try to hear like some mumbling people behind you like Ugh, why are they trying to interrupt my music time I don't know <laughs> so you know I left and yeah so when I got home I was so excited to have my laptop again it was the greatest thing ever oh my gosh I cannot believe I did that but I thought I'd share that experience with you guys if you guys have ever left anything important anywhere or or, you, or if you're just someone who repeatedly just constantly loses things let me know down in the comments, share your story. If you're a YouTuber, film one of these videos and like let me know um, that you filmed it because, it, oh, worst, one of the worst moments ever, but at least they got it. I am so lucky and thankful that I got that back. If I hadn't got that back, like honestly, my YouTube career would probably be really screwed. I'd have to figure out how to do everything off my phone and that would be really difficult. That'd be so fucking, that would be so annoying. Um, I have my old laptop, but it is the most slow thing ever. I'd be so annoyed. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!